Hey guys, I reached out to Tolster Holsters a week or so ago and asked them if they'd be willing to send me a holster to check out, do a review on, and they said absolutely, and asked me like which gun is my everyday carry, and you know, I've been carrying that shield that I've done a lot of videos on, but I've got like seven or eight holsters for that shield, and I just bought the P365, and then every once in a while, I'll carry my little LCP I'm in the pocket. And so basically I told him, I said, hey, I'm looking at starting to carry the P365 and occasionally I might carry the LCP. And they said, uh, we'll send something over to you. And so I actually don't know uh, what they have sent. So we'll kind of open it up here and see what's in it. So we got a holster there. Oh wow, there's a second one. So two holsters. And it looks like some hard, it looks like maybe a, a magazine holder. Wow. All right, we'll get this stuff unpackaged here and see what it looks like. So this is a little overwhelming. I honestly didn't know that they're gonna send holsters for both guns here. Um, they ended up sending like a red, carbon fiber and we'll go over these in detail here in a bit for my LCP and then this cryptic Typhon uh, for the P365 they sent me the brand new sidekick that they just released that you can mount on these to basically give you a claw but it doesn't take up any additional space or real estate on the holster they sent me the soft loops um, that I can use with either one, obviously, but I'm planning on using it with the P365. And a, a magazine holder, which has that matching cryptic Typhon pattern on it. So pretty incredible. So I've done numerous holster videos over the last few years. And a couple of my must-haves in a holster is it has to be really good retention. And I like the trigger guard to be completely covered. I also like to have a full sweat shield, but it's not a must. I also like to have adjustable retention, but it's not a must as long as it's really good retention. So some of the features of the tolsters is uh, this area right here is actually a, it's an undercut so that once the gun is holstered, it allows you for a, a much quicker draw if you need to. And just to compare it to another one, you can see how this is a different manufacturer, but you can see how that is cut open, whereas that is not. And I've actually used this holster for a long time, and I can tell you that that little bit of notching actually makes a huge difference on how much of the grip you're able to grab onto. And I didn't realize it until I had one with it. Uh, another thing is you can use this quick clip, which as you can see has a really nice aggressive angle going up that way. Um, this will not come off your belt. I, I wear a one and a half inch leather gun belt um, and you have to intentionally pull this away, slide it off. Once it goes over and clicks on, it's not coming back off unless you want to. This does actually, in fact, have adjustable retention. Uh, you can see the little rubber grommet that's in there and the little spacer. Uh, that is how you will make it tighter or looser to your liking. Uh, when I first picked up the one for the LCP, I didn't think it had it because I didn't see a spacer there. And I thought, well, that kind of stinks. Uh, but then I actually looked down inside there, and I don't know if you could see it, but there actually is one right there. There is one down in there. Uh, so, yes, both of them have adjustable retention. You can adjust the cant on these um, anywhere from a zero-degree cant. Uh, right now it's at an angled cant. It's a, a, a 30 degree t can, so anywhere between zero and 30. And it's just by loosening this single screw here. And then I'll show you in there. You can see as I move this now, you see how that screw just went lower? And now I can have a zero degree cant just simply by loosening that screw. So I like that feature a lot. Um, I will show you the, uh, the sweat shield here in a second. Uh, like most quality holsters, uh, everything is very smooth, buffed, uh, 
no sharp edges anywhere. And another super, super nice feature is how basically they eliminated all the material that's not needed, um, mostly through this area right here. A lot of holsters, this edge here continues all the way down and then around. And again, this is a high quality, super well-known holster, but you can see how that comes off here. And you wouldn't believe how much more comfortable that is by saving that little bit of space. I'm gonna go ahead and all these guns have been safety checked, uh, but I'm gonna put this in and, and let you guys hear the retention click. That's the sound that everybody likes to hear. You know you have really good retention when it locks onto that trigger guard like that. And, uh, but you can see it completely covers the trigger guard. You can see how that undercut, instead of coming up through here and taking up that material, it allows your hand to get completely around that. The full sweat shield, uh, it's got the raised area. If you wanna run taller sights, that channel there, I used to think it was cool when you'd get a Kydex holster and it would have the, the spots for exactly where your controls were. Uh, you'd, you'd have a little notched out area here and a little notched out area here. And I realized that it actually puts a lot of unnecessary wear along those controls and along your slide. And that it's actually much better to just have one single channel um, instead of those individual knots or spots rather. And uh, so this is much better the way to go. And you can see with a uh, holstering, uh, what they've done is it doesn't matter if you have the non-safety model or the safety model. They built that to where, let me unholster here, you can have it on safe and it still slides in perfectly. I'm going to roll in some pictures here of what both of these holsters look like in the appendix position. Hey, I wanted to quickly show you guys this little mag carrier that they sent me. Uh, this can be worn basically left side, right side, uh, inside waistband, outside waistband. It's pretty uh, clever on its design. It's going to be hard to see down here, but this plastic is almost like a spring. But you can see how it makes like a loop over design right there. So what's interesting about it is that it doesn't really matter if you have like a single stack, this is from my shield, or if you have a double stack, uh, which is from a Beretta, okay? So you can see there's a huge uh, width difference, but the size this way is pretty similar on them. So you can take this single stack, put it in here, and it's super, super secure. Will not move at all. And then you can also take the double stack, slide in there super secure will not move at all even for the little uh, p365 which is like the combo double at the bottom single at the top slides in there no movement at all so pretty damn slick on that so with, there's an, an adjustment screw right there and they give you that little allen key and so basically you turn that and it actually puts tension on that piece right there and it holds those magazines in place for you. So yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. Um, I think these are maybe $35 or so on their website right now. So uh, pretty clever idea. I wanna quickly show you how good that retention is. Everybody always does the upside down test, which I think is kind of crazy, but there's no movement whatsoever. No rattle, no movement, nothing. Uh, so that thing is in there when it's in there, uh, but it still slides out, no problem at all. So. Very, very good retention. My plan is to do a second video uh, showing the installation of the Sidekick, which is basically like their version of the claw, uh, and then maybe also installing the soft loops. You know, both the LCP and the P365 are very small guns, 
and you don't want a holster that's going to add a bunch of size to it and that's why these tolsters are so nice i mean it it really adds almost no length no i mean very little width you, you've got just that sight channel width difference um so i really like the size of them i will say on this uh this lcp uh, when i got these a couple days ago and i went to holster it i didn't hear that same snap that same click that i hear with the other ones it, you see i just went in and it didn't click at all and I, and I thought it was something to do with the retention screw. So I got that thing real tight and I could not get it any tighter. And then I thought, well, maybe it's because it, maybe it's hitting like right here or something on that as I slide it in, but it's not, it's all the way in and it's not hitting there. And after a while, I realized it was actually the backside where the sweat shield is that I have this Hogue grip sleeve installed here. And as this thing goes to click on, you see how that slides over top of that? And so it, it pushes the holster outward just a little bit. Um, so keep that in mind. I know a lot of you guys run these little sleeves on these LCPs because they're pretty snappy, little 380s. But again, as you push that on, you see how that slides over? Uh, it's still super, super secure. I mean, there's no rattle. That's the gun rattling, not the holster. Uh, but it will not slide out or anything. It's super secure still. It just doesn't make that, that little that little click that everybody kind of likes to hear. So keep that in mind. So in the past week of carrying these pistols, I have noticed one thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I typically don't use any cant at all uh, for the appendix position. Um, and when you have zero cant, on this tolster, it seems like there's very little room between the top of my pant line and the grip of the gun. So what I've had to do instead, and I'll show you a picture of it here in just a second, is put that in that full 30 degree cant to basically tip the grip up away from my pant line. You can see there now with the having the full cant, how much more of the grip is exposed above my pant line. And I can obviously get my hand in there for better purchase now. I'm gonna bring this other holster back in here just to show you the differences in these clips which affect the ride height. Uh, um, it looks to be somewhere between a quarter to a half inch difference in height. Um, I would like to see this clip on this one come down just a little bit. And if you look in here, there's room to move those screws down a little bit until you get to that lip in there. Uh, I think that would greatly improve the right height of this. So just in the week or so that I've been wearing these two holsters, I am absolutely blown away with their attention to detail, uh, with the quality, with the comfort. Um, I've been buying holsters for quite a few years. And, um, you know, you, you think you, yeah, everybody's bodies are different. And I know people like certain things and people swear by certain things. And, and I actually thought, and I've recommended this. I've had a lot of friends buy this. And uh, I think that Tolster is going to be the new manufacturer for me. Everything's just so comfortable. You know, at starting around $60 or so for their holsters, they're not the cheapest holsters out there. And then you add soft loops for, you know, $10 or whatever. And then the sidekick for another $12 or $13. You could potentially have $70 or $80, um, you know, in a holster but it's definitely 100% worth it. Um, I, I'm almost embarrassed to admit that over the years that I have actually bought some of this type of stuff here. Like this was from my LCP and basically this thing goes up the barrel. Uh, then you're supposed to hook this thing on. I paid like 20 some dollars for this and it's absolute garbage. I don't even know why I still have it. Pure junk. Um, got this one here, pure junk. Uh, I think I ended up letting my son like play with his Nerf guns or something like that. It was supposed to be some type of inside the waistband. Again, 20 some dollars, whatever. Uh, I had this one here that's supposed to be like inside the waistband or outside the waistband. Uh, this was from a well-known company uh, and I think it was 20 or $25 and pure junk. Uh, so that was 60 bucks there wasted on that junk. I bought this one here and I actually had this one custom made and I think I paid like 80 bucks for this one. Pure junk. Uh, the gun on here 
the holster or the trigger guard is not even covered at all. Like you can seriously get your finger inside there and pull that. Uh, when you pull the gun out, the whole thing like completely collapses and you can't reholster it. I mean, it really is garbage for 80 some dollars. So overall, I'm extremely satisfied with the build quality, uh, with the concealment, with the retention. Uh, they're just, they're fantastic holsters. I highly recommend them. Um, I will leave a link to Tolster down in the description. And I'm actually going to put a discount code up on the screen here right now. Uh, you use that discount and it gives you 15% off of any holster. Um, I think they started around 60 bucks. So that gives you what, $9 off or so. So low 50s. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.